Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Toontown Lego Master here, bringing you guys a little video here on the channel. And it's a very long-awaited video that I've been wanting to get out there. Maybe some of you guys maybe have requested it in your brains or minds when watching my videos. Like, man, when is this guy going to upload some Republic Commando gameplay or whatever? I don't remember. I think I may have uploaded some multiplayer gameplay when I was a kid. And, um... I'm just recording this now, uh, this voiceover, because I was going to try to record it uh, when I bought the game, like, a couple days ago. And I, I had the original disc version, but I just couldn't find it. It was too lazy, so I just decided to buy it off some key website, and it's really a really good deal. It was only, like, eight bucks, or, no, I think it was, like, it was like six or something, or four. I can't remember, but it was a really good deal. And you may be wondering, like, why are you starting to release this now in 2020? Well, I mean, it's 2020. It's the, what is it, the new decade or something like that. And, um, I don't know, I just had that urge to play this because I was playing some Battlefront 2, the new one, the new version, and I even played some of the old one. And I just thought, like, man, like, the gameplay that we have today is nowhere near, like, the craziness and brutality the way this game depicts the war of the the clone wars uh through the commando's eyes and you know i was just getting through a session last night um because i think i recorded like an hour of gameplay um that leads after geonosis geonosis um which if spoiler alert i mean obviously if you haven't already seen gameplay i'm just you know showing this through my perspective and you know my quality i think that's the reason why some people mainly watch these videos because they want to kind of see like different quality versions like as the years go by our recording software gets better or whatever i didn't record this in the highest uh bit bit rate because i don't have like a lot of storage to be able to store that much i i could but i just i was too lazy uh but you know nonetheless i really wanted to bring this to the channel and i really hope you guys enjoy it and um yeah And another thing interesting is if you're looking at me playing the game, like, I, what I notice is, like, through a lot of gameplay that I've seen over the years, like, not a lot of people, uh, like, interact with the intros the way I have. Like, looking around and, like, actually, like, clicking the mouse, because, like, in the beginning, if you scroll back, um, you can see that you can actually move the fingers or the hands of the baby, and it starts, like, you know, trying to caress the glass or something, or trying to touch the, the alien. It's funny. A lot of people don't even click that. Um, when they're playing through, maybe because they probably recorded for the thousandth time and their fraps weren't, wasn't working, and that was like an old software back in the day, or, you know, they had to keep recording that intro. But, um, yeah, this is a really great game, and, like, if you haven't played this game in particular, I would purchase it, or if you have played it and you want to get back into it, it's awesome, because someone in the modding community or something, they were able to get the 1080p working on modern displays, so... The game looks really crazy. Um, you know, obviously it's going to be full size on your screen. I don't know, something up with the textures, I would say. It doesn't look as original as it did when I first played the game. Um, looking at it now, it's supposed to fix some kind of texture. And I don't know if it messed, messed it up in the files. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to look. But, like, I don't know. There's just some things in this game, too. Like, uh, when we're dropping out of that gunship, like, I guess we're in, like, a Vedanar class cruiser or something, and that was cool just seeing, like, that guy uh, in the middle directing us, or directing the gunship to drop out of the, dropping the Geonosis. And I love this intro cutscene because there's so much, like, detail, like, outside of the thing. Like, instead of looking at that guy talking, like, I don't even know what ship that was. It might have been, like, a CIS ship that we just saw. You might have to scroll back and, dang, there's a lot of ATTEs. I don't know why spider droid things are walking away from the ATTs. That's kind of weird. It should be battling. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Uh, I just got through this, uh, sequence or this, like, uh, chapter of Geonosis, uh, as I mentioned earlier. And man, like, I don't really feel like playing the game for a while because I put the settings on difficult or hard or whatever, the difficulty to hard. And, Oh my gosh, it's just, it's too much. Like, there's so many droids, and the super battle droids get really, really annoying. Um, if I were to just replay this, I would just go medium or easy, because, like, I'd rather just enjoy the campaign at this point. I might be sending it back to medium, but 
I don't know, there's still some kind of thrill with saying it's a hard, because, like, for example, once you, if you keep watching, like, the Geonosians, as soon as they hit you, one hit, and you're, like, dead, and I don't know if that's, like, a glitch, so this, this mod that I put on, is kind of glitchy or something, like, the game isn't performing the way I remember, and that's kind of weird to say for, you know, a game that came out in, like, 2005, like, why isn't it performing the way it performed back then, like, I don't know, it's because I'm on a new operating system, Windows 10, or if because that mod thing messed up some things, because sometimes even the characters or the enemies you go against, they're, like, all weird, and, like, especially my first run-through on this, uh, first mission, uh, that we're on right now, like, you're gonna see, like, this clone trooper just, like, stuck, and I'm like, why is he just stuck? And I can't remember if these guys just are infinitely battling, so it's just, like, what's even the point of even helping them, <laughs> like, fight these droids? And I think they die if you knife them, but, the clones, at least. But, um... Yeah, and I really wanted to record this. I, I don't know if I'm going to keep recording. Uh, like, you might not hear audio anymore for the rest of the, the parts that I'm going to release. Or if, or, or if I'm even going to continue uploading this. Maybe if I get some comments. or It, it probably doesn't even matter. Cause I'm probably not going to get like a crap ton of comments. But, you know, wish me luck. I, I'm bringing back some nostalgia in 2020. And, man, I love this ATT. Like, it's so cool seeing it, like destroy that uh spider droid or whatever the hell that thing's called in the background watch this look at that they're battling right now i've been so cool to just watch that oh they can just get blown up but watch i'm gonna see like some weird glitch pretty soon oh, i love dude this is so cool how this att walks i don't know it just walks so cool like you can see like that thing that metal thing whatever that is hydraulics i don't know oh my god so cool Look, I don't know what's up with this. Like, I can't remember if that's what just happens, or... And then... I guess that guy's just frozen. Like, I don't remember seeing that when I first played the game. Maybe I had. I don't know. I can't remember. But I was just like, damn. <laughs> I didn't think he was just gonna die that, that quick like that. It's one stab and you're dead. Even on armor. That knife must be really sharp. If you think about it. If, if they're allowing you to, like, insta-kill a clone, which is one hit, damn. Things really sharp, pierce the armor and just slice into you. And, uh, yeah. I'm recording this on my phone. Um, because I'm trying, I want to use my headphones, but I just don't really know, like, how good the quality is going to be. And,. Uh, a lot of the videos that I've been uploading in the recent years, I mean, not the gameplay videos that you guys have probably been seeing if you've been keeping up with the channel, because there's been, like, PUBG. Like, pretty much any game that I've been playing, I just kind of record if there's, like, good moments, or I li I'll live stream on YouTube every once in a while. Um, you know, that's just, you know, been through my headset or whatever, and I, I don't really talk. I don't really want to talk too much in live streams, because it's just, I don't know, it's ridiculous. Like, if there's people in the chat, I'll talk to you, but... I'm not gonna like keep talking to myself or just constantly keep recording my voice throughout the game gameplay or whatever. I don't know, it's just weird to me. But um What the hell? Oh wow. I didn't realize that ATT <laughs> I thought that thing was gonna like step on me. I I didn't even that's just me watching the gameplay. I don't know if I thought that in my head. I don't think I did. I just probably looked up and was like, damn, what the hell is that? Yeah, I think they did a really good job with, like, the background, um, like, s scene, scenery in this game. Like, everything just looks really cool. And then I didn't realize, I think this is actually the Colosseum that the Jedis drop into, I think. Or it might be another one. I'm not sure, but it looks just like that Colosseum that the clones actually drop into. <clears throat> and I don't know what this is. Like, I don't know if this is, like, an aftermath or this is just, like, the battle that pursues right after the Jedi leave, I, I don't know, because remember there's like a thousand droids, super battle droids, and the Jedi fight them already, so what is all, there's just like a second wave of droids that just show up, because I thought this sector was clear, but I guess it was not clear, <laughs> what's that guy doing, okay, <laughs> I like this little battle, it's cool, I wish there's like some battles outside that they made that I wish you could just fight. 
with those clones. And that's another thing that I don't like about this game. It, there's so much emphasis on the commandos, which is cool. But at the same time, it's like I wish you could fight with more of the clone troopers. Uh, which I mean, you can. But it's not to that scale with the the band of brothers, like the band of clone troopers that you'll normally fight with. But I guess that's the point of the game, really, is that you're this lone wolf uh, commando squad, pretty much, that um, you know goes in and sabotages uh, whatever the enemy is planning to do. That's gonna cause more casualties to the bigger battle. Obviously, that being the rest of the clones fighting on Geonosis and that's why this group of clone troopers has been tasked to go in and destroy the factory to stop the droids from swarming those clones I mean if you look at the battle like if you look at episode 2 and you kind of look in the background like, there's a ton of clones and there's a ton of droids it's crazy ooh I love that oh man I just love the scenery in this game it's awesome it's so nostalgic and it just, it's Star Wars, like it feels like Star Wars, it does not shy away from that. I think that's what a lot of the newer games is missing. At least when Star Wars Battlefront 2 first came out, I really love the special abilities and like heroes that they've added uh, with the clones and all that stuff and the droids, like the commando droid and all that stuff in the new Battlefront 2. That really makes it feel like, man, this is a cool game, but at the same time, the gameplay and the TTK map design overall is not too fun in that game and I just have to say it because I still don't understand how people you know have the balls to play that game still like it's just too it's too much like I don't understand it's like dice messed up like all they had to do was literally reskin battlefield 4 or something and then just release that as their battlefront like yeah that would have been boring but it would have been more balanced like that's what I like about the old battlefront 2 is that you can actually get kills because it's not like impossible